Now today I want to break up something. I want to people have been complaining about miscarriages. Uh, actually, I think today let me talk about it. Miscarriages is caused by many many things, but not everything that you think can cause miscarriage. Uh, but these are some of the core points that causes miscarriage in animals. Uh, one, you see what is in my background here. These are all males. The moment you let other males, uh, sorry, the moment you let many males in your flock can cause miscarriage because they will start to misbehave. I, I think you hear the volume, uh, the, the, the voice behind there. That means those guys are really disturbing. And you know those animals that are pregnant, they really need maximum attention and maximum care. They don't need disturbances. They don't need those animals to disturb them. They don't want to mate when they are pregnant. But because if the males are many, of course they will cause that. They will need to have sex all the time. That is trouble to them. And that stress that those males can cause, can really cause miscarriages. Some other thing that causes miscarriages, uh, most of you people, whenever you say miscarriage, you think that is brucella. No, it is not the case. Not all miscarriages are caused by brucellosis. No. Uh, also, clostridios can cause miscarriages. Also, pneumonia can cause miscarriages. Actually, most of the time, anything that causes discomfort to an animal, it causes miscarriage. Because the moment the body senses that there is something not right with it, if the body cannot manage it, it will just have to first eject what is uh, uh, what is feeding on the body, so that the body can fight on its own. So, this is what you're supposed to do, like you, because there is some um, genuine miscarriages that are really caused by maybe uh, brucella or clostridium. Me, what I do, uh, the reason why I don't get miscarriages, when animals get pregnant, uh, when they make two months, I vaccinate for close studios but remember when they have just produced i do um vaccinate for brucella medicensis sometimes when you vaccinate uh, for brucella medicensis when those animals are already pregnant sometimes it causes miscarriages so do vaccinate for close studios when those animals are pregnant pregnancy of three months is really very good even two months is very good but it would be better if you vaccinate them when they are three months pregnant or or four months something like that so that helps that animal to transfer the immunity to the baby it will not only help the pregnant mother but as well it will help even the kids because if those kids are produced and their body immunity is too low the close studios those diseases can attack them and they also die the two problems you have, miscarriages and then mortality of the kids. But one, I have told you what you're supposed to do. Um, one, diseases, which is brucella, which is clostridio. It can either be pneumonia, it can be CCPP. So just understand that if an animal gets a disease, when it is pregnant, you expect miscarriage. You get it? So it is common that if an animal gets sick, it can miscarriage but this is what you're supposed to do or this is what i do on my farm when animals are pregnant i do not allow them to move longer distances because when you let them move longer distances they're using a lot of energy and remember if an animal is feeding uh in a bigger distance it is going to use a lot of power on its on its way back and an animal that is pregnant it really needs a lot of energy because it is feeding the inner baby and itself so don't allow that stress to happen to allow those animals move in a long distance more so those that are in three months uh, uh those that have three months pregnancy so make sure they move a shorter distance and make sure those animals feed enough so if you feed an animal enough there is what we call steaming up steaming up is overfeeding of pregnant animals such that they can um, help the baby to be big because if, if if the baby is too small even in the body sometimes it gets out and you think it was a miscarriage but because it was uh, poorly fed it was not able to grow in the body 
or in the womb. So that means that the animal might not even survive. So what you have to do, make sure those animals are overfed when they are pregnant. But when they are about to produce, let's say, if they are four months, um, uh, if the pregnancy is four months, reduce on what you're overfeeding them on. Let's say if you're supplementing them maybe with corn or with silage, you know, reduce it when they make four months. Because we want that baby to at least reduce on the size for easy kidding or delivery. If you overfeed it to the end, let's say to five months, you're going to have this stock here. Animals will fail to produce because of the baby being too big. So when they make four months, reduce. Because the only way, actually you will sense that my animals have been overfed because their size will be big. They will have a lot of fat, you know. So when they reach, um, let's say, um, four months, reduce on the amount of feed that you give them so that the baby can at least reduce on the size for easy kidding. So we talked about nutrition is one of the things that can cause miscarriage. Uh, diseases in general, I've not talked about only one disease. There are many diseases. If it happens and you don't know, you get it? Because even those animals that move longer distances, they tend to get chances of getting weeds. The toxic weeds and that can as well cause miscarriage. So somebody can't rule out there and then and tell you this is the only thing that causes miscarriages. It's a number of things. But how do we prevent it? First and foremost, we vaccinate. If animals have just gotten pregnant or they have not gotten pregnant, vaccinate for brucella and be sure that one is, is we have put it aside then close studios vaccinate when they are pregnant and you be sure close studios are cleared do the nutrition feed them well if you feed them well that will also be sorted and say my animals are not miscarrying because of the nutrition then let these other diseases because you should have i told you in a year vaccinate all those vaccines that have been already telling you so if you've done all those vaccines, try to eliminate what I've told you. Two, uh, the mineral salts are also supposed to be in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the flocks. Like where you are, you have to see a mineral salt because that provides a lot of minerals to the animals. You get it? So those are some of the things that you have to master when your animals are pregnant and you're trying to avoid miscarriages. One, Avoid in contact with many males because they will mess up. Two, do the vaccination of Clostridios. Three, be sure that you vaccinated for Brucella meritensis. Four, the nutrition. How are your animals feeding? You get it? Provide enough water. Very good feeds. I told you, have some hay at your, at your places. Have some hay. Like the Westerners, now my friend is calling me and is telling me, Hamesi, we don't even have anything to feed animals. Why? Because they think always they have uh, rains and they always have pastures. Now there is this situation. Where we are, or where I am right now, for us we have rains and you know we have grasses. But in your region there is no grasses. Let's take it as a serious note that every farmer, you should have a reserved pasture. Let, let's call it um, a, 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 I think a silo that keeps our feeds, you know, let's be sure that if I don't have these grasses and you know it doesn't rain, what is going to happen? If all the westerners, you had that kind of uh, silo or hay barn where you keep your, your, your hay, by now you wouldn't be crying because you would have it. So on your land, at least make sure that you have some, um, somewhere that you're keeping some grasses. Not because that um, you're, you're advancing to something else, but at least you'll be sure that you have some animals that, sorry, you have some pastures that can take care of you in uncertain period, like this rain, sorry, this dry spell. So you people, you wouldn't be losing a lot of animals and you know those kind of stuff, but because you do not want to plant some pastures, you keep them aside to take care of this kind of situation. That's why right now people are starving. So let's make sure that every farm, you have a portion of planting grasses, and then you have a portion of where you can keep your grasses. So 
Those are some of the things that causes miscarriages. But if miscarriage happens abruptly, what do you do with it? Me, what I always do, I give those animals long-acting oxy and some malt vitamin. And I do that on a weekly basis till when they produce. And that keeps my eyes open that the next pregnancy I should follow the right criteria the way I have told you. Let me just wish you the best. I think you pick something in that and that will show um, that kind of miscarriages. Miscarriages, we don't want to see it. We don't want to see mortalities because we can manage all that. For your information, me, I have, I have not gotten any miscarriage. You know, I have not gotten any miscarriage. Even the mortalities, I think uh, last month I got over 50 or 60 kids, but uh, I have not lost any, any kid up to now. Then some other thing, if your house is poorly ventilated, it can as well cause mis miscarriage because animals will not be comfortable in that house. Two, if the area, the exercising yard is also small, it will also cause miscarriage. How? Because these animals will start fighting each other. And that will cause, again, miscarriage. So let me just wish you the best. Bye.